that you don't see God does not mean he doesn't exist. Realities are not a function of tangibility. Certain things are intangible. How did that cancer get into your system? How does a man suddenly have a dream that his parent or his brother was in accident in a dream couple of days later the very thing he saw in the dream came to pass sons of god there are realms in this world that are beyond scientific methods Paul gives us insight into the manifestations of the Spirit. He says there are diversities of the Spirit. There are different administrations of the Spirit. He says that the Holy Ghost does manifest the supernatural through the gifts of the Holy Ghost. He says to some, he gave them the gift of the word of knowledge. To some, he gave the gift of the word of wisdom. To some, he gave the gift of healings. And to some, he gave the gift of walking of miracles. If you want a miracle, locate somebody with the gift of walking of miracles. Not everybody can walk miracles. Not every pastor can walk miracles. And not every preacher can walk miracles. And don't you ever think that miracles are fake? Miracles aren't fake. Except you say that the Holy Ghost is not real. There are some churches that you go to, you find a very powerful teacher of the Word of God. And that's his gift to teach. But miracles are far-fetched in that church. Some churches you go to, the preacher there is an amazing talker. When he preaches, everybody gets on fire. But miracles are far-fetched in that ministry. But there are some churches you go to, the preacher doesn't know how to preach. He doesn't even know how to speak single sentence, an accurate sentence. But when he raises his hand, miracles begin to happen. The question is why? That's what we call the administration of the Spirit. So to some, he gave the gift of diverse tongues. Say Zambiara. To some, he gave the gift of interpretation of tongues. And to some, he gave the gift of prophecy. When God anoints a man, he anoints that man for a generation. God's, uh, God anoints a man for a people. Are you hearing me? That anointing on the man of God is not for himself. That anointing is for a people that he had in mind. In other words, if your pride can let you connect to the anointing of the man of God, then you are left with no help. When you believe in God, believe or so, on in the vessel that God has sent. How dare you claim that you, you, you honor God. You know why you think you honor God? It's because you don't see Him. Use how you treat the one that He sent. That is visible and tangible in your sight. To tell how you will soon treat Him if He manifests Himself to you. There are so many of you here who desire the depths and the manifestation of Christ and he has not granted you that realm because of your familiarity with the one that he had already sent you. It's been an amazing service. The servant of God has just come out of indoors and it's been so powerful. You know, and they say uh, divinity has invaded humanity. That is what we experience today. Even from just uh, looking at the servant of God and engaging, connecting by faith. Um, I can't explain what has happened to me today, but I felt the power of God overshadowing me in a mighty way. I'm so glad to be here. If you're watching online, connect, 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 connect. If you are around Cape Town, come and avail yourself. God always presents presents to them that are present in his presence. So I will urge you wherever you are to come and experience for yourself. Don't let anybody tell you I heard. Uh, don't let anybody tell you I received the touch from the Lord. Have you received the touch from the Lord? Come saints, come sons, come people of God, wherever you are on the works, um, throughout the walks of Cape Town, avail yourself. You will never be the same. This uh, I believe, and I'm 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 very 
I believe and I'm very persuaded in my spirit that truly of a truth, the Lord has changed my story. I need not say my, my countenance itself has changed. I feel such a great deposit within my spirit. I'm shaking even as I'm speaking right now. I am baffled. I am in awe. I am shaking. I'm literally shivering. If you would touch me, you would know that of a truth, the power of God has come upon me in the service. And more than my eyes have seen, ears have heard, I can tell you what I have not even phantom today, I have encountered at this place of encounter in this ark of Pastor John, Anno CK, of a truth I can say the heavens this day have opened upon my life and I'm persuaded of a truth and I cannot be silent about this. Wherever you are, hear me, hear the servant of God, hear whoever will say, come, begin to honor them and say, I want to see that which you are saying, that which you are talking about. I want to experience it for myself. Sons, it's been so amazing. I'm out of words. It's been so amazing that the Lord continue to do that which he is doing in this house to the servant of God, Pastor John. What a great encounter, what a great gift, what a great move of God. Um, it's, it's, huh, it's amazing, it's awesome, it's awesome, it's awesome, it's awesome. And we give all the glory back to the Lord and we say, Lord, continue to do that which you do. We have seen, we have heard, and now we have experienced. What a great move of God. What a great move of God. Join us for worship every Sunday. First service, 7 a.m. Second service, 10.30 a.m. School of Revelation. Our Bible study at 6 p.m. A time of in-depth study of God's Word. It's time to come to the knowledge of truth and grow in revelation with the bondservant of Christ, John Anosika. Healing Nights with Jesus every Tuesday at 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. An atmosphere of miracles, where the man of God takes time to minister to different cases. Christ remains the solution to every problem of man. Venue, 416 Vortrecker Road, Maitland, Cape Town, South Africa. Telephone, plus 27-21-510-4029. WhatsApp, Plus two seven six three four two three five eight nine five.